Jason Donnell here with GearWire.com, and we are back with the BCD3000 B Control DJ by Behringer. And this is the Tractor 3 LE on screen here. This is the software that comes bundled with the Behringer mixer. Pretty cool software here. Uh, this is the LE version. Um, you can upgrade to the full version, obviously. And they do give you an offer on the CD to uh, save you a few bucks more on the upgrade. I would highly recommend it. Here's your deck A, deck B. I already have a song loaded in there, but to do that, you just simply drag and drop from down here. This is your cue. You could have a current a playlist, or you could have a track collection, or whatnot. However, you want to organize your files. It's perfectly done here. You can click on the little headphone if you want to listen to, or you know preview the song before dropping it on the deck. So anyway, we have uh, deck A here. I'm gonna hit play on the controller. I had the fader down so I can show you how I search back. And if you watch, I'm going to click the search button. You can see how the waveform skips through. It moves pretty quick. You can also use the jog wheel. Now I can slowly move it. Keep your eye here on deck A. I'm using the little jog wheel. And um, and when I say little, it is small. It's probably smaller than most uh, wheels on or whatever you want to call these. Um, on you know your standard DJ CD deck or whatever. Um, so anyway, hitting play on deck A. Now in the center you can see you have your level meter here, your EQs, effects, and whatnot. All of these knobs and sliders are accessible via the Behringer controller. I'd like to give you a closer look at that. Okay, so here we have our sort of middle mixer section on the software. We've got EQs. Your cha each channel has its own level, meter, gain, cue button. In the center we have um, controls over your high, low, overall controls. So your headphone mix, your microphone mix, your master mix, and then you have above that effects. And keep your eye on the effects here. Right now we're in filter T2. I can select using the controller. I can scroll through those. You can also turn the knobs and watch the knob move. Now these are affecting your effects parameters. So that's on and We'll see what that sounds like. It's on Flander right now. So you can see the amount there would be the wet, dry, completely wet, totally dry. On screen, close up here, Tractor 3 is Deck A. Watch the waveform as I see that I'm using the search. It skips through quite fast. You can also set cue points. I'm going to set a cue point. Boom! Now it drops a little cue point. Now I can instantly go to that cue point. So by setting a cue point, I can snap to that cue point. Or if I want to scroll through the waveform. Simply use this jog wheel and do that. I can hold the scratch button down and I'm trying to do this with one hand here. Can you hear that? Pretty neat. Not like your traditional uh, scratching, which most of us are used to. And, um, but still effective. It's it's more of an effect in this piece. Now the sync up here, keep your eye on the sync, that would automatically sync this. So if I had a song on deck B playing, 
Now see it right here, you can see where the two songs are falling out of sync. If I press the sync button, boom, it snaps them in. Taking away all of what many DJs have spent their time on learning, which is beat matching. So, that's that. It's the BCD-3000B Controlled DJ by Behringer USB MIDI DJ Controller. Nice little piece of gear here, especially for the price. This is Jason Donnelly with GearWire.com.